Right, today I have decided to get these legs made at work. Fully sprung oleos using the original springs. I used the existing bodies of a Seagull Fokker Wolf, modified them, re slotted them. Stainless 316 main oleo pin, stainless running on alley, light oil in there, aluminium shape. That body goes into the into a bore in there, which is pinned, it's a press fit. Refit the original axle, crub screw, wheels, two collars for mounting and adjusting these wheel spats on the outside. So the gear doors are quite nice. Need a bit more of a platform on them. And uh, yeah, I think the rate of the springs are just good. Have to make some adapters to 13mm to 6mm. These have to be reamed out to 6mm. For some reason they were five and a half in the bodies. A bit on the weak side, everything's face to face, corner radiuses on everything for strength, even on there. Never have a sharp corner in anything where it's pegged into a hole, otherwise that's a shear point. If you have a heavy landing, it'll just bend if anything, but it won't shear off. Anyway, here we go. Here's a cycle. Bear, bear in mind there's a sequencer underneath on the back. I can just probably show you. You can just see it there. That's a sequencer unit with a multi choice of peg, depending on whether you want doors, flaps, whatever you want to be in sync with those. Those are really quite cheap. They're very, very good. I'm only using one channel on that because this is putting the delay to give it that scale effect of retract. If you put the two in, they'll just cycle together even though the timer, the integral timer of the circuit is working. So here we go, I'll show you what I mean. First door down, second door down. The beep there to say they're shut and they're locked. And then same again when they come down. First one. And the second one. Good sturdy legs. This is an 83 inch span Seagull Models 86 Texan. It's actually 82.8 inches. Uh, the length of it of the fuselage is 53.9. The approximate flying weight will be 11 to 12.8 pounds. That's 5 to 5.8 kilograms. And the recommended engine for this is a 1.2 cubic inch two stroke. So I'll show and fit in the Evolution 20cc two stroke. I was going to fit a four stroke, but big, heavy, lumpy 30cc. I think the two strokes less hassle at the end of the day. So uh, there we go. I've just had the servos come as well. They're good 20 kilogram, 35 kilogram servos, digitals. Um, still got the graphics to put on this, so there's the first stage done. At least we can press on with the fuselage now, get the middle section mounted on the fuselage, it can make things such a lot easier because we can stand it on its feet now. So, anyway, that's done, got that out of the way. There we go. 